Yeah, I was going to actually ask you guys, because once we start talking about uh, heavy lifting and all that stuff, do you guys, Gigi, and you, Morgan, and you, Antoine, uh, still do the squats, freeway squats? I, 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 was, I, I started doing them again like uh, a few weeks ago. Really? How yeah, about you, I, Gigi? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm doing front squats right now as my squat variation, just to keep it simpler instead of having a bunch of them. But I like to keep them in there just because it kind of gives you a clue on like what's weak. You know what I mean? So it's more of like it's a it's a bitch test movement. You know what I mean? It's like if you're if you're adding some weight to squat and you start to feel it somewhere like your knees or this or that, then it's giving me a clue on where I'm weak. You know what I mean? I can work on it. So it's like the opposite reason why most bodybuilders, you know, who are really in the flow of things would use it for, you see what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to lose it too. And I, I, I think uh, when I, me and Morgan, we do legs together usually all the time, but there's a few workout that a couple workouts you where you did by ourselves. And one, I did the squats. I think I did like squats like four times and just by doing these squats four times when I did the other exercises, like I was pretty strong last leg day. Right. You were, yeah. You did yeah, it's like I feel like my strength went up from the fact that I did free bar squats, even though it was at the end of my workout. Yeah, for me, I did a lot of free bar squatting, like in my first, honestly, right up until I moved uh, to Ontario, because back in Newfoundland, like up until like the last year or two, we didn't even have a hack squat like at any gym. <laughs> so I was pretty like restricted to what I could do for leg training. Uh -huh. uh, so when I come to Pure, I have all this leg equipment at my disposal. So now I'm just like a strict machine guy. Like I you, use you went from squats. zero, zero squat, zero leg machines to pure muscle and fitness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Besides like a stick machine and like a leg. And his belt. legs were already huge. So you go yeah, well, my zero legs, to yeah, 400 man, I machines. I my legs with barbell squats, man. Like when I, I remember when I was doing like 455 for like sets of 12, you know, when I was like, you know, a little bit younger, I feel like my quads were like the roundest and craziest they ever were. Obviously, they're still good now. I have a lot more thickness, but – uh yeah, and, and for me, like, since coming to Pure and training with, like, the machines, my hips and knees have, like, never felt better. Like, I have no joint issues at all now. So I'm, I'm not, like, I'm kind of hesitant to go back to free bar squatting when I have something that's working so well, right? Okay, how many people in the gym do you see do the free weight squats? I've been to your gym when, when I met you there. I mean, uh, uh, I haven't seen anybody squatting. Not a lot. I've seen, I see some guys do it, but... Uh, most of the guys who do it really often are these powerlifting guys. Yeah. That's probably just pure muscle and fitness though, because in yeah. most gyms I go to and I travel a lot and I go to guest gyms just to get my workouts in, there's always someone doing free bar squats. Really? Yeah. I'm here in Vegas. I mean, I have to approach a guy that is doing it and congratulate him because it's a <laughs> rare occasion that you can find anybody. I'm serious. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I never did a single leg workout back when I was pro without squatting. There was no way. Uh, and uh, uh, I, oh, by the way, yeah, it's probably too late for you guys to try it. I, I talk about this. My biggest accomplishment was 93. Uh, I had a four shows back to back. So as soon as you finish the show on Saturday, uh, Sunday, I would go to the gym and do the legs because yeah. next Saturday you're competing again. But I, I just got that crazy, stupid idea to do like 10 sets of 10 squats, right? Yeah. You know, first, first week, uh, you know, uh, I didn't time it. You know, I just did, uh, you know, uh, 10 sets of 10. And you do normally one, two, three, four, and then you keep four, 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 four plates to the end. So then I, I said, like, you know what? Let me time it. And the second time when I did it, it was a little bit over 30 minutes. Like, God damn. So you, you know, did you did four plates for ten reps for ten sets? Ten sets of ten sets of ten reps. Yeah. With four plates. So first, first I did that one, two, three, and then okay, four, 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 uh, seven more sets. But then you yeah, start thinking, okay, one, two, three plates doesn't count. So let's count the ten sets of ten, right? And how much time? To make long story short, I did thirty minutes, a little bit over thirty minutes. Then I managed twenty-five. And then I got the crazy idea that I have to do it under 20 minutes. Okay. And yeah. that was the hardest thing I ever did. And that was the ass to the grass. Okay. But once I accomplished this, I bragged about that. That's my biggest accomplishment. Uh, I never did it again because that's the biggest nightmare. I could regularly do like six and a half plates for like six reps, you know, 
So 405 was good enough way that uh, you don't have a trouble first, like six sets, and then that seven, eight, nine, tenth becomes a little bit, uh, okay, you, you got to catch the breather and all that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Under like, uh, 20 minutes for that is ridiculous. 20 minutes, 10 sets of 10. <laughs> it's, I, I would like to see anybody. You know how they say Tom Yeah, Morgan. Clark, it's, yeah, it's, I'm thinking of like how many, like, yeah, that's it's, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. well, would it be like back to back? We just go, Morgan? Is that what, was that the pace? Uh, well, I mean, I, I would assume there's like a short rest time in between sets, but I'm just trying to yeah. see. There is no rest in between sets. <laughs> yeah, if you're timing. Really. If you're timing, it's a nightmare. Yeah. yeah so I imagine you, you have a two minutes to do a set and uh, have a break in between. I'm going to try. Yeah, you, have like, you have like 12 seconds per rep. I oh, no, no, no. I, I wasn't going 12 seconds per rep. No, you mean. No, like, I, don't, I mean, like, that's like the average, right? <laughs> like, that's like the time. So you, you, could do, you could do 100 reps, but you do one rep every 12 seconds. Yeah, no, no, no. But back in the time, you know how we were squatting, yeah, power squat. You know, of course, you don't just unleash and you go down and bounce. But uh, I wasn't going three seconds or four seconds down on a negative. You know, you just keep it tight and then explode. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, never lock the knees, so you don't want to stop. But uh, you can do this uh, ten sets of ten. Eventually, that six, seven, eight set, like okay, I have to lock in catch a couple of breaths before I, 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 you know, finish it. So back then, did you do like, did you like warm up before you did the squats? Or did you do like leg, oh, yeah. extensions, leg extensions always, leg right. extensions always. And then I was squats. Then I was, okay, whatever I finish squatting with, I start the hack squats with that. Huh. And whatever I finish hack squat with, I start leg press with that. And I was, like I said, normally six plates squats. You start with six on the hack squats, eight and 10. And then 10 plates on the leg press. And uh, I had a flex equipment, which was beautiful. That hex squat. If, if you guys get the old. We do. I think, I think we had that one. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's a small platform for the feet, smaller. Decent. decent. And the angle is uh, like, I would say. Steep. No, it's not steep. It's, it's okay. uh, yeah. Cybex had a steep one. Cybex is the one. Yeah, Cybex was you know too much on the knees, kind of. Yeah, I don't like the steep packs. They're too yeah. hard on the knees. Yeah. But on knees. that note, that heck press that I'm constantly telling you, you can have a super bad knee, and you're not gonna feel nothing on a new tech heck, heck press. I promise you that. Hmm. I hope you get that one. Yeah. So is this yeah. like an updated uh, calf hack machine? Like uh, you know the ones that it's oh, that the, support on your the, lower this, back. Yeah, it's like you're yeah, sitting yeah. on a chair and you're yeah, you're yeah. kind of squatting yourself down, but but you're still on a chair. Yeah, I, I tell you this: there is a two gyms here, uh, Dragon's Lair, right? Flax's mm -hmm. gym, and a Kilo gym. They ha it looks exactly the same, but it's not the new tech. Okay. And you go on those, it instantly kills your knees. Yeah. It looks identical. You know, that's so what I, that's what I was thinking about my knees on these. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, I, I, I cannot explain it because, okay, it looks the same. Okay. It, it should be feeling the same. Oh my God. Yeah. But I, I promise you, Juju, you're crazy. I can see your lifts. I could see on that hack press, you're going to be able to do super heavy and deep mm -hmm. and yeah. zero lower back, zero knees. Yeah, I got the calf hack from Panada, and it just kills my knees. Honestly, it's just it's. So a, you, you should sell these uh, machines. You don't need to anymore. I am. I'm working on putting together like uh, a spreadsheet to give to a couple people, and I'm gonna kind of thin out some of the stuff because I mean I've had the machines for three years. You get to the point where it's like you know like okay like which one you like? I, I yeah, which ones I don't like. You which should ones... work on a deal with New Tech. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let me put together uh, what I got over here. Move. That would be the move for sure. I don't like the Panada leg stuff very much. No, I like the leg press, the leg press, the circular leg press, yeah, kind of like the Cybex one. one. That was a hard that one. That one was nice, but any like the leg extensions, the hamstring curls, I don't find those like the Panada, the Panada hack squat is pretty harsh. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's a, it's like a short, like the lower, the lower back pad is like that pad is like short. It's like, yeah. Depends on the